Hey everybody, this is Dr. Greg Rose. I'm out here at TPI with PGA Tour player Charlie Hoffman. And since we got you here, Charlie, I thought we would do a major preview. And one of the keys anytime you guys are playing one of the majors is you're going to be faced with fast greens and tight lies, right? That is correct. So if I was going to ask, you know, what's the number one tip? So let's talk about chipping and these tight lies. What, what do we got to do? Uh, lower body stability is what I like to focus on, which gives you the good, crisp, clean hit on the ball, which you can generate firm or uh, generate some spin on the firm, fast green. So a drill I like to do is uh, stick my right leg back, really balance on the left leg so you can't sway back and forth, uh, which enables you not to hit it crisp and solid. So I get in there, one leg back, stable, then through. I love it. You can even hear the sound of that contact. So what, what he's talking about in that lower body stability is so key because you want the bottom of the arc to hit the spot that you're intending to hit, right? Anytime the grass can grab the club, uh, we, don't, we want to be very precise with our contact. And any type of time the lower body is, like you said, swaying or sliding, it can create a timing problem. Yeah. And sometimes when the timing's on, it's good. When the timing's off, it's bad. So that's a great drill. Can we go through that one more time? So left foot only. Now notice the right foot's still touching the ground, but he doesn't have any weight on the right foot. The left leg has all the load, so now he can feel if it's moving at all. It's really hard to move, you'll fall over. And go ahead and do that for me one more time. And all the way through, he stays on that, that left leg, he doesn't fall back onto his right leg, and then you would probably immediately go to two feet. Then he goes two feet. I, I have a feeling of what that felt like not to sway if I had been swaying. So obviously you have the ability now that you're on two feet to have some movement, but still, still be stable. Not all your weight left, maybe 60% left, you there very stable, still smooth, then you generate that good, first, Love it. crisp. You can hear that sound. Now, one last thing, let's talk about the club real quick, because anytime we're on these tight lies, bounce is important, right? Bounce is very important. Uh, I'm hitting this one with uh, my 60, 10 degree bounce uh, SM7, and uh, you know what, this, this shot is a little bit down grain. If you get to the master, if you get to Augusta and- uh, Tight lies into tight the grain. Tight lies into the grain. I actually defer down to my 56 SM7. and uh, That's because it's got more bounce. It's got more bounce, you got a little more room for air, you can open it up, even create a little bit more bounce to get that 60 degree loft, and you add more bounce to the sole that way. Our good friend Bob Vokey always says, bounce is your friend. That's and he correct. Says, right. Okay, so hopefully this will help you anytime you're faced with those tight lies or those tough greens. And remember, two things, lower body stability, bounce is your friend.